Hello all, this is the Socially Awkward Ben Wallens. Welcome to Music Corner. Now, I wanted to share with you because I had already done some videos and I'm not sure if I'm going to share them or if I'm going to shorten them to keep the music separate from the comedy because now that I'm doing this, so we'll see what I do. Anyway, I wanted to share a scale with you. Now, I have my iPad mini here, and I will show you that. My main instruments are on the iPad that's recording right now, so I can't really go do 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 do. I'm typing, I'm playing the keyboard while I'm doing that, so we'll open up one of my one of my music apps here that I have for this. And what I'm going to try and do well, not try. What I'm going to do is download something, one of the music programs on here. Yes, the so that instead of having all the stuff on here, then I'll have some stuff on here too. So, I think I am doing the right one. Yes, okay. Let's turn the volume up. Now, this isn't a true piano. So keep bear in mind that this is one of my synths. Like I said, the main, main piano is on the iPad that I'm doing right now. This is one of my apps. It's a synth. It is the Aturia I Mini. And then see, this is the keyboard right here. So technically, I know how to play piano because I can read, I can, I know where the notes are and stuff. So basically, a scale is this. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, without the last C, but that's roughly what it is, so I'll, I'll do it again without saying the notes. One more time with me saying the notes. C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C. And that is roughly the equivalent of all music. That is the entirety of music right there in those seven notes. Eight if you count the second C. So, and, that's, and that's where it is too, because then I know I'm itching my nose. It's all itchy. Ugh, I think it's um, the pollen in the air or something like that, or the dust. Ugh. Anyway, so you okay, so here is here is one of the C's. C C. That's it. That's them together. So that shows another concept because once you go C D E F G A B, once you go like that, then you hit a higher octave or a lower octave if you go further down. So, say I did this, see? That's a lower octave than what we just did, because then we get into the higher octave, so you listen. And then here's the higher octave. See? So, it just depends on what it is, and it's just focusing there. Uh, not focusing. It's going from one octave to the other, so then you have C, D, E. G A B and then then it just repeats itself and that's what I was trying to say in in repeating that so I'm just getting you all familiar with it so and with that comes all the entirety of music anything you play even with yeah dubstep I'm not into dubstep but you know all those uh, pitching, pitch shifting notes where it, where it goes from one note into another without any break like I was showing it, it just kind of slides or um, melds it and meshes into the next note and that's still going through notes, it's just not having a break in between the notes and it's like kind of thing, I don't know how to explain that better 
uh, I forget the actual music term, it's where you... <laughs> I know the music term, it's where you combine two notes. It, it, whenever you're playing guitar, you either would bend the note up or slide to the next one, not just, I guess, hammer on it or something. I, <laughs> I understand the concepts, but trying to trying to get the proper terminology is different, difficult. So I'll try whenever we get more into that stuff. I'll look more into these terms because that's helpful. Doing that. I was looking in here because I'm gonna we're gonna go through music theory for it not for just looking at it. Okay, um, I guess tying a note would be, because I just, I just turned to it right now, so tying a note would be like tying a, a half note and a chord note together and they're the same, they're the same note. So you would have a half and a, and a, and a quarter on the same, say a C, and then you would put them together as a as a tie, so they would tie together. A slur is what I was thinking, or or or, or something like I'm. I know I, I'm just miming it with my voice, but it's you start at a C and then you go to C D. E, you can go C D E F, and then you just you would slur that. without having a break in between and there and in some machines and stuff and synthesizers you're able to slur it into into doing that and yeah <laughs> so roughly stated music consists of c d e f g a b music consists of those seven notes which i just played you and all, and we'll get into the the black keys. Here, I'll show you here. And the black keys. I know that's a bad name, but it's actually a piano term too. So don't get all oh whatever. I have to wait for it to load again because I closed it. You see the white keys and the black keys. The black keys are the sharp and the flat notes, depending on which way you're looking at them. And we'll go through those. We'll go through those as we look at music and in, in, in the context of it. Yeah. So that is uh, Ion Helix, the socially awkward Ben Wallens and Ion Helix presents Music Corner. And yeah, music is cool. It's also mathematical, just so you know. It's all about counting and beats. And one last thing, and I'll, uh, and I will say this, the metronome is your friend. Please remember that. And just to lead off on a funny story, when I first started creating music, I didn't realize about the metronome and getting on beat mail and stuff, and so I'd make stuff that was whatever. I was thinking I was doing it right. Come to find out, the metronome is your friend, and always, and always make sure that not only the metronome, but make sure that whenever you're working with programs or whatever, that your tempo matches on all the programs that you're doing. Because I've tried using stuff, I've tried creating stuff, and I didn't realize that the tempo was higher than what my DAW, my digital audio, audio workspace, my digital audio workspace was. So I put it in, and the stuff, the the stuff that I put in was too fast for the tempo in the DAW. So I'm just like, ah, so. Metronome is your friend, and make sure your tempo matches. And I will see you all next week with the next episode of The Music Corner. So this is Ion Helix and me, because I am the Ion Helix and the socially awkward Ben Wallens, saying goodbye.